Double or Die It podcast on Everyman Radio. It was a new form of music that still doesn't exist to this day. Paleo Grime. And so they convinced us that human health depends on foods we didn't eat for more than 99% of our entire existence. How did this happen? But when you get back and you start looking at the medical literature and you root back through to find out where this whole idea came from, it's bogus. It's bogus. Yeah, I I went through uh, about a seven or eight year experiment of different diets and uh, what ultimately gave me the best results was a you know basically an animal based diet where I basically eat pretty much just animal foods and Hmm. that has given me the you know which most people would be surprised by myself included but it has given me the best you know health results that I've had my entire life you know both from a just objective and, and subjective standpoint from, from a health standpoint but also a body composition then also from an athletic uh, performance standpoint almost three years that i've been doing this uh kind of crazy hmm. carnivorous experience experiment and i continue to thrive and do well which is uh i think been very eye-opening to myself and now to literally tens of thousands of people who have adopted this and have seen for the most part very similar uh, excellent results with uh, you know coming off medication, seeing chronic health problems dis- disappear, uh, seeing autoimmune diseases go away, seeing seeing things like rheumatoid arthritis and Crohn's disease and also colitis, all these things resolving, which most people would think is very unlikely, particularly on a meat-based diet, because we're always told that you know meat is bad, you got to give up meat, it's bad for it, eat plants, and uh, that does not seem to bear out when we actually really critically look at it clinically. Yeah, it sounds incredible. 